Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hope everyone's having a great day. Hope everyone's staying safe. Welcome to part two of my playthrough of Pokemon Shining Pearl. Now, um, last time uh, we left off just getting into Jubilee City. Um, it's been a couple days since I played, but something that I learned over the weekend that I was playing this, um, what we're going to try to do is get through the first gym because when we get through the first gym you got to talk to a guy in jubilife city and when we get to uh jubilife city there's when we talk to this guy we get the mystery gift uh option and from right now until february 21st 2022 if you go into the mystery gift you get a uh, event pokemon which is the manfee Manfi is a genderless Pokemon that can only mate with a Ditto, if I'm being told correctly. You can mate it with a Ditto and get Fion. I don't know if those two are required for the Pokedex entry, but I'm going to go ahead and pick them up. Or, well, not, you get a Pokedex entry, but I don't think they're required to uh, complete the full national decks. Most event Pokemon aren't, but... We're going to go ahead and pick it up anyways, because it's a free Pokemon, so why not? So, I haven't progressed through any of the other story. All I've done, as far as, you know, off-camera, we caught a Starly. Uh, I think in the last episode, we caught a Shinx. I think I was trying to get a Krikatop, but I did level up my guys just a little bit, so I could level them up through. Our next uh, mission is to head over to the trainer's school. Now, also, I removed the border for you guys. So you guys, you can read the text and everything if I miss say something or anything like that. You guys can see it. I also moved my camera. This way you guys can also see uh, everything that's going around. But um, I also want to say if the videos don't come out day after day, or if you check the channel and there's just not an upload for that day, please be patient. These longer episodes do take a lot longer to upload. I have to try to compress the file size, move it over to my laptop, which has my editing software because I edit on a MacBook. And um, I then have to recompress it by using an application called Handbrake. I'm going through a lot of like nerdy editing geeky stuff right now. But um, basically all I do is I render down the file size without losing any quality using Handbrake. So I put my video in there. I compress it down so it just goes from like 10 gigabytes to 3 gigabytes or 9 gigabytes to 1 gigabyte. However, it can work it in the best way possible without losing any quality. So do bear with me. I will try to get these up uh, one after another. I won't progress the story. Like I won't skip an episode like, oh, you guys see one and two and then all of a sudden I'm on five and I'm having to re-upload three or four. That's not going to happen. None of the other stuff is going to upload until I get the third one. I just, I record this, edit it a day before, and then I upload it for the next week. So they do take a little bit longer. I actually have to use my main PC that I used to record to actually upload it because I need a little bit more processing power uh, that my laptop can't handle. So with all that nerdy geek stuff out of the way, let's get into this. Just know if there's not a video, check back in like a couple of hours or check back the next day i should have another episode coming up because i'm not playing through the story without recording it for you guys so let's go ahead and get into it we're gonna head over to the trainer school this is jubilee city the city of joy i'm not quite sure which one this is not it but uh let's go ahead and talk to them and you don't know what to do talk to people talk to everyone you see that's what everyone seems to be saying. Wonderful, deeply mysterious creatures. But the trainers team's the only thing that matters is battling. Not really with me. The only thing that matters to me is collecting them all and getting shinies. So, that was not the building I needed to go into. I'm pretty sure this is the building, right? This is, yes, trainer school right here. Has the Pokemon, Pokeball on it. Okay, so I'm gonna have to come over here, talk to the guy who's our friend, Randy. Uh, couldn't remember what we named him, but, um, 
Hey Techno, did you come to study too? I went ahead and memorized everything that was up on the blackboard. After all, she's been trying to stop to avoid having their precious Pokemon Heart in battle, right? So Techno, what brings you here? You've got something for me. Yes, it's your parcel because you left and your mom was trying to give it to you. It's a town map. Maybe you would have gotten all this from your mom if you hadn't ran off in a hurry. I like a lot, but I don't need two. Here, Techno, take one. Okay, so we finally got the town map. Awesome. So, according to the town map, I guess Orberg City is where I should be going next. There's a gym, so it'd be perfect for raising the Pokemon I just caught. Well, I'm off on the road, becoming the greatest trainer of all time, see you around. Yeah, well, I'm going to be beating you a lot. Just saying. So let's go ahead and talk to her. You didn't become a trainer, did you? Uh, you should look at topics that you're not familiar with. A blockboard list changes that may affect Pokemon in battle. Which status should you read about? I'm not going to read about any of these, because I already know all of these. If you are brand new to the Pokemon, you may want to read that. Uh, they are smart enough to get items they're holding, but they won't know what to do with it. Human-made items like potions and antidotes. I wrote an essay in my notebook on what takes what makes a true Pokemon trainer. Okay. I'm pretty sure these two are going to want to battle. Battling is the best way to learn. Can we get a battle with you? Not yet. I just became friends with my Pokemon. I'm not sure if we can do this properly, but maybe battle. Not quite yet. Don't be shy about talking to people and getting into battles. I'm not. <laughs> we learned about Pokemon types today. Grass is weak to fire, fire is weak to water, and water is weak to grass. Of course, that is how it goes, kid. You are doing good. Keep up with the studies. Alright, do you know much about Pokemon? Yes, I do. You're quite well versed indeed. I imagine you wouldn't need, you wouldn't see the need to visit the trainer school then. But do visit if you have time, you may discover something new. What are these two kids playing Nintendo Switches? I'm trading Pokemon with my buddy. I gave up Pokemon an item the hold before trading it. That will make the other trainer double happy because it's going to evolve. Who are you? You're a Pokemon trainer, but you don't have a Poke... PCH yet. Poketech? Poketech is short for a Pokemon Watch. Okay. Oh my, you were a rare case indeed. You see, I invented it now. Manufacturer. Poke... Poketches. We're just gonna go with Poketches. Uh... Not only that, I am now conducting the Poketch promotional campaign. I'm probably saying it wrong, so please correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. All you have to do is find three clowns in Jubilife City. If you can find them, I'll give you your very own Poketch. Three clowns in the city. Well, GWS isn't ready yet. The Global World Stadium, I'm assuming? Okay, well I can't go that way. So, before we leave, because I'm going to get through the first gym, and I'm going to uh, definitely try to get the the uh, event Pokemon. So, did you know, some kinds of Pokemon evolve when they get stronger from battling. Yes, if you're not a clown, I'm not going to talk to you very much. Okay. I need to find clowns in the city. Are you a clown? Your life city is built on land carved out of a mountain. Yes, the people in Pokemon. Barber City helped all with the undertaking. Oh, by the way, I will be doing shiny hunting for legendaries, so I will more than likely be resetting for a shiny Palkia if possible. You can shiny hunt them. I think the only two Pokemon that are shiny locked in here are Jirachi and Mew. So that means I'm going to try to shiny hunt Palkia. And you can shiny hunt them at their base rate of 1 out of 4,096. Not looking forward to that. Okay, I went to the trainer school around here. Study here. Study there and you may come out stronger. Cute little Shinx. Okay. Oh, nope, there was a clown. Okay, well, let's... Do you want to catch Pokemon? Just try lowering the HP. Yes. 
Potions, yep. And in case you black out, definitely need potions so you don't black out. Okay, I need to talk to you. Come here. I'm a Pokecatch campaign clown. Let's roll out my question. Does the Pokemon grow by defeating others and gaining experience points? Yes, it does. Pokemon grow stronger by defeating other Pokemon in battle. Some Pokemon even change into different Pokemon through a process known as evolution. Here you go, your coat fetch coupon. Coupon one. We need to get two more. That should do it. You can only have six Pokemon in your party at a time. Of course. Okay. Go. Okay, well, I can't go through there. Well, that's not going to go through here. What's this building? Give life condominiums. Tenants wanted. I pronounced that very, very, very carefully because that could have been pronounced very wrong. Hiya, where'd you come from? Twin Leaf Town, huh? It's a nice place, quiet and all. Two Bluff City is a big place, so it might be a bit of a shock to you. Not really. Clown number two. Roll out question number two. You're absolutely correct. I a Pokemon hold a single item. Okay, I didn't even see what it was saying. Some items become effective as soon as they're held by Pokemon, such as berries. Yes, coupon three. So two is somewhere else. You see me on TV? I was in an interview. No, I'll see you on TV. I can't necessarily go through there. Okay, we're gonna read this one. Just like Pokemon do, the moves of Pokemon also have types. Yes. You could have just answered yes to like every single one of these. Okay, right, well, I found three. Cool, that makes three. Let me go talk to the other guy. When you walk through the Pokemon, they gradually grow friendlier. That's... Can I walk with them yet? No, I can't walk with it yet, so... Yeah, no, I can't walk with it yet. I was about to say, I don't think I can walk with them yet. Hey, dude, got three. Alright. In return for these coupons, I present you with this Pokemon watch. Or Pokets for short. Alright. Make it more versatile. Please press the R button and try it out. Cool. So we got the Pokets. He's going to walk off. That's cool. So we have that. Okay. It shows my time. We can also do a calculator. Oh, that's the step counter. Okay. And how many Pokemon are in my party? Let's just leave it on this for right now. Also, if you guys hear my cats in the background, I do apologize. I will try to minimize the amount of that they meow uh, by muting it after in editing. But um, if you guys have known me from live streaming, my cats meow a lot. One of them is up in his age. And, uh, he does meow a lot. He forgets where he's at a lot of the time. So, but, uh, most of the times he likes to sleep. He had just been fed, so he may be meowing, thinking he didn't get fed. Uh, but, rest assured, he has ate his food and his little brother's food that he doesn't finish eating. He eats leftovers. But, that's completely fine. So, the Pokedex Company Pokemon watches for the world. <laughs> Okay, cool. Uh, do we get anything for going in there? I don't think so. You can be sure I'll be... Uh, you can be sure I'll keep developing Poke Pokech apps. Uh, just like Pokemon, the Pokech is something that evolves. Cool. I'm the president of the Pokemon uh, Pokech company. I keep wanting to say Pokemon company. I'm developing a new Pokech app, but it's not quite done yet. My guess is that it'll be ready after you earn a gym badge. Cool. We're actually a family-run business, so we're not very impressive. That's very sad to say about yourself. We try to think like trainers when we develop the Poké Chops. Okay. Ooh. Okay, go around the thing. I'm gonna have to get used to this running because I keep running into walls. Pachirisu! I like that Pokemon. 
Poke Pokemon Watch or Pokemon Switch Story. Say it's the wrong. Oh, the President Co. Okay, you're the father. Okay, cool. Anything useful in here? I was not wanting to go back down. Okay. As Mr. President, we start out in a small workshop. And now you're in a big building. I know if you... Okay. Walking around the walls that I can't see is going to be very hard for me. To be uh, able to get new apps for surprising sources. PCs here have guys at various bucket apps. Which one would you like to read about? The pedometer. Well, that's all I can do. I know the pedometer is going to count how many steps you actually take. Uh, and it's going to be very helpful for when you are shiny hunting because if you're going to use the Poke Radar on Poke or the Poke, Poke Watch, I'm going to say Poke Watch because I feel better pronouncing it that way. But, all right. Uh, going through, let's see the town map. Where is the next area? Right to the right. Okay. So, I'm going to say Poke Watch because that sounds a lot better for me, whether they want to call it Poke Edge or not. I don't care. But, I know there's going to be a Poke Radar that you can use on here, and you can, if you don't get the patch of grass that you need, you need to reset by walking 50 steps, not running, but walking. So, the D-pad's going to come and help handy with that. Uh, reset it by walking 50 steps, and then, you know, let it reset. Uh, or, re activate the Poke Radar. You with that cool scarf, you should have been, uh, you should have seen the boy who came running by earlier, ran past so quickly that I couldn't even manage to say hello. Yeah, he does that to people. He's right there, actually. He's annoying. Hey, Techno, you got, uh, tell me you got a little tougher. Do you need, uh, do you need an ass? Of course I got tougher. Let's battle it out. Sure. Why not? Pretty sure I'm going to beat you, just like all the other times you're going to ask me to battle. Just like everyone. Alright. We both start off starly. Okay. Okay, crap. I keep hitting a button. Okay, there we go. I'm going to swap to my Shinx. Alright. And unlike Hop, who takes the one that's weaker against the one you pick, he picks the one that is stronger against you. Because you're going to be battling him throughout the entire story if I am to remember correctly. Alright, Growl is just going to lower the attack. It's not going to do a lot. Okay. So yes, I did train up my Pokemon off-camera, I just kept running through the grass fighting off of wild Pokemon. And I recent- I did catch a Starly. Uh, I didn't play any the last time I recorded, I didn't play any because I got home around like 11 and started playing for like an hour, and it was like 12 when I was done. So I was very tired. Ah, uh, Pokemon Trainer Randy is about to send out Piplo. Mmm, nah. Keep current one because electric is better than water, and I don't have any grass type, so. Yeah, no, it is pretty much over, and I wasn't even getting cocky. I was literally just saying I know type advantages. You obviously don't. Yes, okay. It's going to use pound. It's not going to hurt too much. I'm going to shock it again. It's holding on by a mere thread. And if he's... Okay, he's not going to heal up. Normally they heal up. I've had them come up to me, or whenever I'm battling, I've had them go through and heal up. But I think that may be later on in the game. Now again, we're just going through the story. We will do uh, what we can to fill out the Pokédex. Alvin obviously has Diamond, so he does get the other version exclusives. Um, the ones I don't get, I get the ones that he doesn't get. So we're going to obviously trade. Um, I'll probably do that off-camera. 
because I don't know if you guys would be interested in that. If you guys would be, let me know, and I'll uh, make sure to record a video of us just trading out, filling up the Pokédex. And then after that, it will be Shiny Hunting for regular Pokémon and the other Legendaries you can catch in the game. You can get a total of 17, uh, but some of them are version exclusive, so I would get different ones than Alvin. Um, I think he, because he has Diamond, he gets... Entei, Raikou, Suicune, and a couple of other ones I don't get. He also gets Ho-Oh. I think I get Lugia, Zapdos, Moltres, and Articuno. I think we both get Latios and Latias. We both get Giratina. We both get Rayquaza. I'm definitely shiny hunting Rayquaza in this one. Um, the three Reggies. I think that could be it. Um, Ky Kyogre and Groudon, we both get those, I think. So, uh, I'll have to go through and, you know, look that up. And I'll make that video, of course. Alright, let's go into the gym. I'm going to toughen up for that totally. Cool. Also, um, we should... Yes, we should swap this one. So we can level up our Chimchar. First Pokemon to appear in a battle list one at the top of your team list. Yes, I knew this already. What's this? Trainer tips, power points. Okay. Let's go through here and get through this battle because there's an item over there I want to pick up. Again, I am going to try to pick up Pokemon where I can. I just want to make sure I can actually get through the first gym today and come back to Jubilife City, talk to one of the guys. Uh, one, get the next app for the Poke, the Poke Watch. And then um, after that, talk to the guy to get mystery gifts. That way I can actually get um, the uh, Manphy. And I'll add that to my team. And then, of course, in post-game, I will get a Ditto and uh, have it mate in the daycare. And then, of course, when that's done, I'll get a Fio. Zubat. Now keep current. It'll be fine. It's just a Zubat. We'll be fine. I may try recording about like an hour worth of gameplay, maybe a little bit over an hour worth of gameplay, uh, just to make sure I get everything through here. And depending on how I feel today, I'll record another session. So again, if you see me in the Techno hoodie, it's because it is cold. It is nighttime. I get really cold. I don't know why. I've been getting cold really easily. Uh, and I live in Arizona, so... It's supposed to be hot, and it's hot and nice during the daytime. But during the months of November and December, it gets cold. And we have seen snow. The first year I moved here, we actually saw snow. And I thought that was pretty funny. Let's go ahead and fight this. Fight this kid, and then we'll go up. Hey, Chimchar. And y'all already know I'm gonna try to Masuda hunt my I'm gonna try to Masuda hunt my Chimchar as best as possible. I'm gonna try to find a code to hopefully get a foreign ditto. I think people have already started putting together trade codes for uh, people to use. I think Austin plays uh I watched his channel. I think he's working with a couple of streamers and um, a couple of people to get like a global thing going. That way people can trade for version exclusives, uh, different legendaries and stuff like that. So that way you can fill out your Pokédex. Uh, if you do happen to use those, he has definitely gone ahead and said, hey, go ahead and uh, use it. I will link... I'll put a link in the description for this video, um, because if you want to use his codes, he's already given permission for people 
like content creators, news source outlets, uh, Discord outlets to share this information in hopes of helping everyone get their, um, uh, be able to finish their, okay, thank you, I want to do, to finish their Pokédex. And, uh, do go into the mindset that, you know, you may not get that Pokémon back, uh, of course, that's with every trade, but he definitely has said to try to be courteous and if it's a Pokémon that they want back, trade it back. Um, I know the type of world we live in where people will just, oh, hey, I want this. I'm just going to take it and leave. Sad to say that that will happen. I'm not going to call anyone out for doing that. Uh, well, I'm not going to say anyone's audience does that. He hopes that he his audience doesn't. I hope my audience wouldn't. Uh, but if you do want to trade for version exclusives or different types, uh, check down in the description. I will leave a link to his video that I watched that has literally all the codes you can use for global training or you know exclusive training you know what I'm talking about all right Badu. yes switch Pokemon that's a grass type let's go back with Chimchar through there. I think that's our last Pokemon. And we can move through. And I don't know if I said his name was Austin John or something. I meant Austin Plays. My bad. I meant Austin Plays. I probably butchered so many names. Again, I apologize. I'm kind of out of it. It's a Sunday, and I have been out of it all day today. So I do apologize if I butchered any names beforehand. I'm not sure if I did or not, but just in case, I am sorry. <laughs> Truly. Alright. I'm not going to catch this because I've already caught one, and I'm just going to go ahead and get it through. I know I could get one with better IVs for battling. But I think I'll be fine for the right now, this foreseeable future, until I can get the, uh, until I can learn how to do it without the Pokey Watch app, um, 203, do we go through the, I'm gonna say we go through the mountain, right? Let's beat her, and then, uh, go read that sign that's in front of the, the route. Burn doesn't do a whole lot. Just go ahead and scratch it. That should do a little bit. Awesome. The deuce. Let's go ahead and just switch out because I need to level up Starly real quick. And tackle. Two. Alright. I don't know. Did she have three or two Pokemon with her? Hey, level 11. Cool. No, she only had two. Okay. Read this sign. Oh, uh, that's just trainer tips. Yeah, that's if you want to use with that. So, let me look at the map real quick. Yes, we need to keep going right, so that means we got to go through the mountain cave. Alright. 
I know I missed that trainer down there. But we will make up for it with how many trainers we're going to run through in here. Because I'm pretty sure in caves there's a lot of... Uh, a lot of these. Uh, oh, technical machine. If you use it, it will then break. That is true. I've also added a new pokey, uh, a new pokey feature to your poke, pokey watch. Again, I am going to call it the pokey watch. I know it's called Poketch. I cannot seem to say it today, so we're going to say pokey watch because that's what it is. It's the hidden moves app. Use the rocks match from your Poketch or pokey watch. Damn it. And a wild Pokemon will get rid of boulders on your path. Use this uh, hidden move in the field. You'll first need the gym badge from Orb City. Okay. So I can teach it, but in order to use it out in the wild to break things such as that, I guess it's to make you go through the one route that has all the trainers. This way, if you... You can level up your Pokemon. I get it. Gimper Curtis. Again, I'm not quite sure what the first normal type Pokemon I'm going to try to shiny hunt. Um, but I mean, if I want it, I have a shiny Shinx. Actually, I have a shiny Luxray already in Sword and Shield. So I don't know if I want to shiny hunt the ones that I have in that game um, or do the ones that aren't in that game that I can only get in this game. So, you know, let me know what you guys would be interested in seeing me shiny hunt for this game. I'm definitely into doing that. Uh, when Legends Arceus comes out, I'm pretty sure I'm going to shiny hunt for that game as well. I'm very interested to see if the Hisuian Growlithe is going to be gold or not because I've seen some pictures of some people saying it's going to be blue and honestly that's not a bad color for it I love the gold Growlithe don't get me wrong and Arcanine but with it being the Hisuian form things have changed such as Zork Zork is literally a normal ghost type now um and I can't wait to catch that one I'm definitely going to shiny hunt that one if, if it's not shiny lock that's the thing, if it's not shiny lock. You can never tell when things are going to be shiny lock, so I have to literally wait for data miners to find out what is going to be shiny lock. If any data miners already know which ones are going to be shiny lock, let me know in the comments down below. If you stumble across this video and have made it this far into it, let me know which ones have, is going to be shiny lock in this game. I'm pretty sure it's just Jirachi and Mew that you get from a gift. But I'm not quite sure. And uh, the uh, side up, um, switch. I do. This is like if you are watching this and Legends of Arceus is already released. So definitely, you know, if you guys are watching this and you have that game already, as of right now, it's not out yet. But again, for future references later on down the road, uh, let me know. Let's do Thundershock. Charge, I think, is a two-type move. I'm pretty sure that was supposed to kill it. Let's just go ahead and shock it again. Okay. Awesome, Shinx is level 11 now. We might want to level up Bidoof and Starly a little bit. May want to catch another one or two Pokemon uh, while we're out here. Just so we have a full team when we do go against the uh, first gym. If you don't have a single gym badge, other trainers will look down on you like your total noob. Jeez, kid, like I didn't know this. I'll show you what the town's Poke Gym is. That's cool. Don't you think I should go to the Pokemon Center first to heal up? Yeah, it's called my rival. You finally got here. You're slow like always. Well, maybe because I take my time and it's, you know, 
explore. You rush around everywhere. I think he finds out later on in the game that, you know, rushing around does nothing for you. Uh, he said he had to go to Orberg Mine. I got my badge already, so it's no big deal to me, but... You know what, Randy? Politely go fuck yourself. I'm just gonna say it that way. Because I feel like it's less rude when we do it that way. Alright. Yes, I need to heal up my Pokemon. And then I'm gonna have to go to the Herb Orberg City Mine. Thank you, Nurse Joy. I do not need to heal up again. If you like to change your appearance for the Union Room, I've already done it. Please do not talk to me again. Also, if you guys hear something, that's my ice maker. We recently had to move it uh, because it wasn't working correctly. And I didn't have to worry about it in my past videos. So, yeah, if y'all hear some ice falling, that's our ice maker. And I do apologize. Again, there's a lot of outside noise because of where I'm at. My apartment's not really big. So, I'm pretty much in the main living area where all the noise happens. So, um, yes, I do apologize for that. Please bear with me. I will try to have all the sounds minimal, minimized. But, um, switch on the PC at any Pokemon Center to connect the Pokemon boxes. All you need to do is store your Pokemon and bring them out. You'll be able to access Pokemon boxes on the menu screen. That's nice. I traded Pokemon to the Global Club downstairs. Okay, good for you, but how did you do that when there's someone right here? We are working underground right now. It's off limits to the public. How did you do that, kid? How did you do that? Oh, man. Nah, I'm not going to do anything because I have no other Pokemon to find. Okay, so we're going to go to Orberg City Mine. Let's talk to you. There's a huge mountain that towers above everything. It divides Sinnoh into two disparate, distinct half disparate paths, like their Hunger Games. When I run around, when there are issues on it, it feels like I'm the center of attention. You remind me of that annoying kid that I'm friends with. A lot of different other TMs. It's tricky trying to decide which Pokemon should learn what moves. The gym leader went off to work in the mine. That's nice. Um, Pokemart. Have you seen the vents? They really steam from down below. Okay, well, where's the mine? These vents exchange the hot air down below with fresh air from outside. Looking down them gives me the urge to start yelling into them. That's a weird urge to have. Maybe you should see a doctor about that. Alright, everyone's part of the mine. They're digging the coal for, uh, under the sea as we speak. It's amazing how they do it. Alright, we're in the mining area. Orberg Coal Mine, beware of busy Pokemon. So we are more than likely going to run into wild Pokemon down here. Okay, well, I can't go. Okay, let's see. There were Pokemon that looked just like rocks. They sur sure surprised me. Oh. Dio. Dio Duke. Zubat. I guess we'll catch it just because we ran into it. I was actually going to talk to that guy to see if he knew who the gym trainer was. Um, he's level 7, I don't want to kill it, so let's just scratch it. We'll do another scratch. Good boy, Chimchar! Alright, Chimchar avoided the attack. Oh my god, he is good! Alright, let's go ahead and just try to catch it. We got some Pokeballs. Alright, hopefully it doesn't pop out of the ball. good. Awesome. So we have a Zubat now. I think we'll find Geodude down here as well. Okay. My watch is making all sorts of noises right now, and I'm not quite sure why. Cool. I'm not quite sure. I haven't come up with a team for my uh, Elite Four yet, so we'll kind of just go along with it. Everyone who works on a coal mine keeps their own Pokemon with them. You may be challenging battles. That's cool. I want this item. Awesome. Okay. Hang on. While we're down here, 
I know I'm switching between them a lot, but I'm trying to make sure all of them get as much experience as possible. This way, they are fully, they're a decent level whenever you go through. Okay, that's cool. What you went on a secret? I sent my Pokemon to work. That's nice. I don't think anyone cares if you snuck your Pokemon into work. Okay. Oh, you know what? I should have healed up Zubat. I should have done that first. Let's see. Let's just do roll out. See how well that works. Probably not gonna work very well. I think it's a rock type move, so yeah, I don't think it's gonna work too well. Nope, didn't work at all. Okay. It's a multi move. Oh, okay. That did in my Pokemon. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, let's. Um, he's a fighting type, so... Let's do that, okay. Okay. Let's see how well those works. Yep. That somewhat worked. Oh gosh. Okay, let's try to get him before he can hit me first. Alright. That's his only Pokemon too, so that's fine. Um also because of how long these videos can get, um I'm going to try my best to keep them as one whole video as possible. But again, if I can't upload it, I may have to split it to two to two videos. And if that happens, I do apologize. Here's the first gym leader. Alright. Dot smash. Alright. Fallen boulders need to be smashed, so out of the way. If you could get the gym badge from the gym down in the town, you'd be able to do this too, of course. You could beat the gym leader first. That'd be me. Awesome, I have an escape rope. However, well, I'm not going to do that. I am going to get thrown into a battle with a Geode. Okay, Geodude. Geode. Geodude. So, that's fine. I kind of wanted to get a Geodude anyway, so let's go ahead and do what we can. I just boosts up his stats and attack. Or no his speed. Oh, I thought it was attack for some reason. I am so out of it. Oh, he is gonna boost his speed all the way up in here. It doesn't affect it. Where is my head at? Obviously not on my shoulder. Okay, we get it. You're trying to up your speed. We get it. I could wing attack it. I don't want to kill it though. Okay, that's not very effective. Its speed can't go any higher. Let's hope this isn't like a mistake. Ouch! That hurt. I'm just gonna see if this is gonna work. I don't think his health is low enough, but... Ah, it worked! Okay. Cool, okay.
power punch, which let's just go ahead and get rid of Leer because I'm not going to use it. It does nothing. Well, not anything I would use it for. I know it ups the attack, or not the attack. <laughs> I think it's just defense or something. It's a status affecting move for your itself. Uh, I'm not going to care too much about that. Alright, let's go ahead and do our best to just get out of here. By the way, I'm going to change my Pokemon because my Bidoof has literally taken a beating and it's passed out. Alright, let's go back up through here. I'm gonna go through here. Let me in the Pokemon Center. Again, the running is going to be weird because of the chibi characters. Yes. And now have a full team of six Pokemon. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so let's go ahead. Here's the gym. I will go through these houses as well. I just want to be able to get through the first gym and feel like I've made some progress through the first actual uh, battle. This is so easy to bypass all those. <laughs> I don't think I was supposed to go up it like that, but okay. I literally just bypassed the trainers that I was supposed to fight. A Geodude. Awesome. Not very effective for that. Chimchar has a super effective move for it though. Up his defense, okay. Let's go ahead and power up. This is going to, of course gonna I thought it was gonna require me to power up and then punch. Again, again, my head nah on my shoulders. Ooh. Mm. I forgot. I, I don't want that. Uh, I don't want that to die. Okay. Yeah, oh my gosh. Am I going to lose on the first freaking gym? Oh my gosh. Okay, please. I hate the fact that if you move your thumbstick too fast, it wants to go over to the right and look at the moves. I do not like that. This is going to kill my Chimchar. This is going to kill it. Oh my goodness! What was I thinking? I'm stuck with Bidoof and it's not going to do much. His Geodude is just going to literally take me down. I think that's what I get for running through not fighting the two trainers in front of them. Yeah, this isn't going to look good. Shoot 
stop with me. Come on, dude. Just take out my Pokemon. Thank you. Now I'll go back to the Pokemon Center, pay him out his money, go here, heal up my Pokemon. Okay, guys. Cutting back to this, this is the second time I'm attempting the gym leader. I leveled him up about like 10 or 15 for 10 or 15 minutes. Uh, Zubat seems to be very good against the uh, gra gra <laughs> ground and rock type. So, we're going to start off with him as the leader. He's level 9, I'm hoping this is going to work. Not so sure this might work. I, you know, we can try it. He's like three levels higher, so. These do not kill it. Ah, that's what I didn't want to have happen. Okay. Hopefully Chimchar can break the can break this little curse I've got going on. Okay, I think Chimchar can take a hit. Thank you, Chimchar. I probably should have gone and gotten, you know, a revive. Seems like it's doing pretty good. Please don't heal him up again. You're joking me, aren't you? How many of those potions are you going to use on uh, Geodude? Like, come on, dude. Just let him go. Let Geodude go. Thank you. I'm pretty sure this next one's gonna be a Machamp. Ain't it? Either that or an Onyx. Sure. Let's get rid of this stupid defense girl because I'm never gonna use it. He's gonna put out Onyx. I'm gonna keep. But for the love of God, don't be higher than a level 12. But. Okay. That's very good. Okay, Stealth Rock isn't so bad. Okay, first gym leader should be down, or does he have a third one? I think he may have a third one. Yeah, he does. Granados! <laughs> oh, my allergies. Oh! Okay, let's get back into it. 
Kranidos. Oh. Ooh. He's level 14! You gotta be joking. Uh, I don't have a revive. Never mind. I didn't think I was gonna one hit it. Okay, so we actually finished the first gym leader. Cool. Cool. Yeah, let's just forget that, you know, I didn't beat it the first time. I probably should have spent a little more time leveling up my Pokemon off camera. But I had a lot of things going on. Also, Chimchar is evolving, so let's let it go ahead and evolve. Right, Monferno. Not much. So let's see what this is. Strike on opponents over and over makes the user's fist harder, hitting a target where you see the attack stab. The user throws a punch at blinding speed. This move always goes first. I think I'll go with that one in case I need to get, I need to do a quick move in a pinch. You went and lost to a trainer who didn't have a single gym badge. Well, you do a lot of the times considering that you're the first gym leader to work. <laughs> Whatever. That's the story. You were strong and I was weak. That's all there is. According to the league rules, I have to give you a gym badge since you've beaten me. Here's the official Pokemon Cold Badge. Cool. Thank you. Having that Cold Badge means you can now use the hidden move Rock Smash from your Poke Watch. You should also take these two PM76s. Stealth Rock. Okay, it's a move that inflicts damage on opponents that switch in the battle. And these are the stickers I use. Here, take some. Oh yeah, you can put stickers on the Pokeballs in here. That's pretty cool. I forgot about that. You obtain the stickers that work uses. Incidentally, a TM will teach its moves to a Pokemon instantly, but a TM will break if uh, when you use it. So be certain you want a Pokemon to learn that move. Oh, that's nice. But I'm not going to fight your trainer since I've already beaten you. If I need to come back in a pinch, cool. Alright. So if my advice was useful, it'd be great if you became become my fan. <laughs> you know, usually they would give you um like they would give you something like a water or whatever to heal up. Alright, now, I don't have, uh, not quite sure, what the hell? You turn the city, went to 207, but you can't go through it without a bike. Made my team battle and toughen them up, so it wasn't a waste. Uh, so I'm going back to the Life City. Next up, you get turn to dash. 10 seconds for a dash. You are completely weird. Alright. So. Jump off that cliff. 
go through over here. Now, there's supposed to be a guy we can talk to, I think, over here. Nope. Nope, not over there. I'm assuming it's not over there. Um... And one of these freaking buildings, we're supposed to run into a uh, a dude who's going to give us the ability to get impeccable timing as always. These miscreants are babbling utter nonsense that I just can't stomach. Show them some manners, if you will. Must you be so difficult? We're approaching you strictly as businessmen. All you must do is provide us with all your research findings. In return, we'll see to it. Uh, that your assistant doesn't become collateral damage. Okay, sure. I've got no choice. Alright, team battle. Team Galactic. Right. So just Monferno. One of them is a bug type, so that'd be good. down. I don't know how you were going to beat her up by just having your bat to astonish on her. Zubat learned me and look. Uh, yeah, you also have hideous looking bowl cuts, so. Don't know what you really expected there. Okay. They call themselves Team Galactic, do they? In Pokemon of all, they seem uh, to release some sort of energy. I believe it's a mystic power far beyond our control, but Team Galactic seems to be trying to harness the power for something. Anyways, well done. You battle quite capably. Seeing your trainers battle side by side, you trainers battle side by side with your Pokemon one makes me more confident in my decision to trust you with a Pokedex. As you know, the professor studies the evolution of Pokemon too. According to his research, 90% of all Pokemon are somehow tied to evolution. Of course. Let's keep working on our Pokédex project for the Professor. Who the heck are you? Those guys looked awfully scared, but you sure showed them. It was like a breath of fresh air. Anyways, my name is BB, and I work as a system administrator for a heart throne city east of here. Now, as a thanks to putting on such a good show, I'll let you access Pokémon boxes from anywhere. Oh, cool! Also, give you these ball capsules to you. Cool. You can customize your own capsule decoration by placing stickers on ball capsules. Put stickers on your favorite Pokemon's ball capsule and it'll look pretty, really pretty when it bursts open. Stickers will also give you an edge in the super contest shows where I live in Heartthrum City. So try to collect a bunch. Right, so I'll see you later. Cool. So I can now access Pokemon wherever. This is something new that they added in the recent games. They've had it to where you can access the Pokemon wherever you're at. And you don't have to be at a PC. A lot of people love that change. I personally love that change because I don't have to quickly run where I'm at. Go pick something up. Um, however, I do want to find that one place. Wait, nope, nope.
Uh, three chips in bottom corner, street side fashion snap, underground treasures corner, every happy Wi Fi connection. I'm gonna say the every happy Wi Fi connection because I think that's what you're supposed to. You know, do that. You're a trainer, right? I'll pull some strings for you. I think uh, I can swing a deal so you'll be able to get a mystery gift. That's the guy I needed to talk to. So now we can talk to, we can go to the mystery gift, get via internet, save the game real quick. Come on. Fuck, can I pick my internet? Okay, you're not connected to the internet. Save your progress, you're not connected to the internet. Alright, we're gonna get the Manfi Egg gift. Which, I've seen, it looks really cool, the egg does itself. Uh, you can, it, to me, it looks like an alien egg, which I guess it's supposed to. So, we have the Manfi egg. And, the clothing gift. This is the Platinum Clothing Set. Obviously what that looks like just glowing So you got the platinum style and basically it's the outfit. I'm pretty sure you got in uh, Pokemon platinum. I didn't play platinum So I actually did not get platinum sadly However, we can go ahead and Do this because I would like to hatch which one should I move? Let's go ahead and move Bidoof into the box. But I want to start hatching. Fanfi. Oh, by the way, I don't. Yeah, I've, I've already talked to you. I just realized something that's going to be great. If I trade lost Pokemon, I'll have a better chance of winning a Pokemon lottery. That's cool. So, you need to go to the TV building in order to get it. And you have to go to the third floor. I wasn't quite sure which floor it was. I knew it was a building in Jubilife City, so it was this one. However, um, I haven't been able to get a bike, so we do have to try to get a bike as well before we can continue on our way. I think. Because you don't necessarily get the bike this soon. However, I do want to move it over to that okay went ahead and canceled it out let's go ahead and just start counting our steps uh until we can you know hatch out man B. and let's head out to the next city Orb. It's not really super effective. I'm going to try to do. Let's go and switch them up right now. So we're going to head and do head to the next city. I think I will basically pause the game there. Um, Level up my Pokemon off screen just a little bit. Maybe catch some more Pokemon off screen uh, when we get to the next city. That way, I can try to keep it at least under two hours because rendering out a whole hour worth of video was pretty, pretty hard. So, uh, let, we're already at like an hour and 20 minutes uh, as of recording it. But you guys won't have it that long because I'm actually going to uh, try to um, edit out some of those. Uh, some of the little things that I had that I had a big problem with. I'm going to edit out the part of me having to train up my Pokemon to fight the gym the second time. But dude, that one's pretty, uh, pretty weak.
Why didn't I change it? Oh my gosh, that's not gonna do anything because it's a grass type. I thought I changed out to Monfernic. Monferno, my bad. Monferno. <laughs> Alright, let's switch over to Monferno. I'm gonna try to like change out where Monferno is in the lead. Just gotta use the ember on it. Just go ahead and end it. There we go. Alright, we're getting fainted. Hmm, should be old. We would be forgotten and replaced with double team. Nah. Be bold moves. Alright, and if the egg hatches off screen, I will definitely, uh, hard no. I will definitely try to use the Nintendo Switch system of recording it, so if it does hatch off screen, the only difference is you won't be able to see my face and my reaction to it, but, you know, it's okay, we have it, and it's going to be just fine. Ravaged path. Is this the correct way we are supposed to go? Yes. We're supposed to go into here and go to the next town over because we can't go through here without a bike. I think we get a bike in the next area. So as soon as we get to the next town, I will obviously have to. Um oh wait, I also want to teach. I'm going to teach Geodude this move, uh, that way I can, I figured that was going to happen, also let's go, where's TMs, right here, okay, that's Stealth Rock, Rock Smash, okay, let's go ahead and use it, Okay, Zubat can't learn it, let's make Geodude learn it. Alright, yes, that's completely fine. Um, we're gonna make it forget Rock Polish. Okay. Learned Rock Smash instead, awesome. And right now is a good time for me to go ahead and save my progress. And I'm going to not the Pokédex. I'm so used to my layout for uh, Sword and Shield. I'm going to put him up in the front. <clears throat> the Doof. Used Rock Smash? What? The doof knew it? And I didn't even need it in my party. Okay. Well, I can't go that way because I don't have Surf. But we will go this way. Alright, now we're on top. Here we have an awakening. We're of course going to have a battle, trainer battle. Go ahead and just ember it. I think this may be her one of her only Pokemon. I think. Cherubi. 
Now I'm gonna keep my Pokemon. They're both that type. Critical hit. Ruby fainted. Q. Smell so nice. I don't know if that has anything to do with why you lost. We're the strongest in our class. Let me get a double battle. Yep. Pachirisu. I definitely want to shiny hunt a Pachirisu. That is going to happen in this game because I don't think... Yeah, I don't think you can get Pachirisu in Sword and Shield, so I'm going to shiny hunt Pachirisu. I... I completely forgot what type Pachirisu is. I think it's an electric type. So my electric type move may do nothing. Yeah, it did nothing. So... They both seem to focus on one of my Pokemon. Well, one's down. I'll just ember it. Yes, the other one's like it. Hit unless one of my moves just doesn't work. Yep, there we go. Yep. Awesome. Give me the money. Alright. Ooh, wild Pokemon battle. And it's the doof. I've already got one. But I will fight it to level up my Pokemon. I'm going to do everything I can to actually fight it and not run away as much as possible. Talking about wild Pokemon in general. That way I can level up my guys where I can while on stream. Okay. Hang on. There's an item right here that I literally just walked right past. Let's go over here. Florona Town. Let's heal up. I can end the episode once we heal up. Okay, be prepared for a long journey. If you got Pokemon with you to save. You even feel like a kid, like you're traveling off alone. But... I had a battle the other day, my Pokemon's HP got low. I thought we were done for, but then all of a sudden my Pokemon ate the berry it was holding. Yep, they're smart enough to do that. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and leave this episode here. I'm gonna go ahead and save my progress real quick. But I'm going to end the episode right here because we are already at an hour and 30 minutes. Um, I hope you guys stay safe, stay healthy, stay tuned for the next one. I may record some more tonight. I, I just have to chop them up into different episodes because of how long the videos can get can take a while for uploading. So stay safe, stay healthy. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.